don't get to die. Hi, I'm Jimmy Stewart, the creator of the Vancouver B-Movie Factory, and I'm really excited about this episode because it is a location for an inspiration. And not just any location, the location we did episode number one and two in. So they are part of the Vancouver B-Movie Factory family. So let's go do this. All right, guys, this is really important to us, and uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. So uh, introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Scott Taylor. I will be the editor for tonight's little feature. And my favorite letter of the alphabet is Q. I will leave you to ponder why. Hi, I'm Tony Chris, and this evening I'm going to be the magic special effects consultant. And my favorite letter is W. No one ever picks W. Think about it. Hi, my name's Cindy Bruce, I'm going to be the director for tonight's film, and my favourite letter is F. And I'm Jimmy Stewart, and this is the Vancouver Bean Movie Factory. Alright guys, our inspiration this week is a place. And this place happens to be the place that helped us get started. They were on episode number one and episode number two. It's the Second Story Theater. Now, we've had a lot of great things happen there. You guys all been working there before. So tell us, tell, tell me what your, your uh, thoughts of the place are. Well, I'll, uh, I'll start. I, uh, I'm a magician entertainer, and I perform there a few times, actually, with magic shows. I've also seen a lot of magic shows there, and some acting and plays and improv, and even taken some uh, classes there. So, I mean, in all honesty, I think the place totally rocks. And Cindy, you were part of the uh, episode number two, weren't I you? was, and it was the first time I'd, I'd uh, returned to my improv roots for a very, very long time, and I really enjoyed it, and it re reminded me of how much I loved doing improv. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of really looking forward to getting back there and filming something there and celebrating you know, the place and, and enjoying that again. And Scott, you were there episode number one. Episode one, yep. I uh, assisted in uh, doing the sound recording. And uh, of course, I got to edit about a third of the episode there. So I got a chance to, uh, to help uh, put the movie together and learn the craft of editing. And yeah, it was a nice little place. It was uh, ideally suited for what we were doing, and uh, yeah, looking forward to going back there. Yep. Um, we are definitely heading back there as the place is now the inspiration. That'll be our focus. So either the location will be a character, or somehow the main focus for our film. So do you guys have any thoughts or inspirations for that? So much. What can you do? You know, <laughs> I would love to see the theater as the protagonist and the actors, the characters, kind of just being all the secondary players. Uh, I've got one idea that I kind of was throwing around. It might be wild and crazy and nutty and make no sense. But Sounds great. Yeah, like all our things, <laughs> yeah, we just go with the flow. Um, I almost see like the theater being haunted, but not your typical spooky, scary, haunted, you know, flick. You know, I almost want to see like us commemorating this, paying tribute to it, because it's such a wonderful place. And uh, maybe things go on uh, when, when the real estate agent might bring people in that might spook them, or perhaps the ghosts are on stage acting, you know, of course, on screen, but the characters can't see them. So they're mingling amongst themselves, the spirits, that is. And, uh, you know, maybe there could be some shenanigans or comedy or so, something whimsical, you know, maybe not spooky or scary, because we've done that. I kind of like the idea of where you're going with that, like in my head I'm seeing a bit of a, a circular shot where we kind of move around the theatre in a circle and every time we come back to the stage there's a different set of performers there or there's echoes of laughter and, you know, applause and, and, and every time you look at the stage it's a different character or a different sort of, you know, performance or it's, you know, people improving. It's kind of like showing memories of the theatre, like the theatre is experiencing these memories itself, mm. and we're sort of yeah. showing the... Yeah, we can do that in the flashbacks, like uh, having someone walk in who's performed in this building, 
and wherever he looks, he remembers or yeah. she uh, remembers something from the past, and that's where we kind of have like a flashback sequence of what happened there. And it could be something that was memorable in you know, maybe a funny way or whatever, but the, yeah, the, the place is kind of showing us what, what went on here, the history of the theatre. So mm. that could be kind of cool, and it could be uh, very celebratory in that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I say, it doesn't have to be scary. It can be, uh, yeah, it, it can actually be like a real estate agent walking around with, with a performer, perhaps that performer is interested in buying the place because of the connection he's feeling. Or he or she, whatever, whoever we yeah. get to be. Uh, so it's an idea, you know, we can do a sort of flashback uh, sequence. One idea, right? yeah. All right, we've got six hours, we're starting at 2.30. Yeah, we don't want to go o'clock. too late. Two o'clock. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, the thing is, we can do this in six hours. Hmm. Thank you, John. As long as we're organized and, 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 and set ourselves up and the script for just those three long. shots. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We can do this in six hours. Yeah. If we start getting overzealous, um, we're, we, we could get ourselves into trouble. What about the scene with the flying monkeys? Okay, so the <laughs> yeah. first page should be like the first page should be establishing shot, the door, mm -hmm. the stairs coming in, the real estate agent, the potential buyer. The second page should be the three, two to three locked off shots on the main stage. The third page should be the audience and the counter and the end. Perfect. scene I think and that that way we 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 are restricting ourselves to yeah. a page for each of these sort of yeah. start middle and end so and that'll be the main body and we can have snippets yeah. of audiences you know yeah seconds worth of footage and that sort yeah, of thing. yeah absolutely and then well, we've, if we've got the three locked off shots for the main stage on this on the middle page if we have to lose the third one we can to get the last bit done depending on how we're going for time does that sound reasonable? <laughs> cool. I'm excited. <laughs> Are you really excited? Are you guys liking this idea? Uh, yeah, cool. I love it. Yeah, do you think we have enough to take it back to the group? Right? Absolutely. Yep. Excellent. Let's do that. Stay tuned. It's finally here. The show that you've been waiting for. The Vancouver Bee Movie Factory, where movie making dreams come true. Check your local listings for airtimes. So, we're meeting here at Second Story Theater. Let's go on in and see if the gang's all here. Hi, I'm Tony Chris. I will be the Magic Special Effects Consultant and uh, casting for this one as well. Uh, I'm Cindy. I'll be the director of this episode. So, who's writing this one? <laughs> Not me. No, okay. no, no, no. Well, I'm Scott Taylor, and I will be editing this episode, possibly doing the music as well, most likely. Um, Maybe not. Uh, no, I'm not writing it. That's up to one of you guys, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we have this terrific idea, and we'll let Tony uh, lead the way on how this one goes. Okay, so here's the basic plot. Um, and first I have to start by saying we're paying tribute to this great place. I have performed on this stage about six times as a magician, and it's like, out of the me small, medium, and large theaters, hundreds and hundreds that I've been on, it's one of my all-time favorites. I'm not just saying that. So here's the idea of the blueprint we have. Basically, uh, there's going to be a real estate agent bringing in some people, some prospective buyers, to, to buy a vacant theater, which is up for sale. What do you guys think? Sold. Yeah! yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Let's brainstorm. Let's get this thing going. It's time to divide this meeting up into two groups, the actors and the crew. Quick question, what's going to be the objective of the, of the entire movie? Like, uh, is it going to be like, uh, okay, you're trying to keep... But the usher, the ghost, wants to save the building, so he's, he's putting across to these people, he's showing through how fantastic this place is, and in the end, he's convinced them to buy the place and keep it as a theatre. So that's the objective. I'll be holding the skull. Nice script. The main thing that Second Story Theater is known for is improvisation. And I'm proud to say they have decided to improvise every scene. So I just walk through and it's like, oh yes, well, that was done by Hamlet in 1742. Basically the story I see for sale sign on the window, I see 
the real estate yeah. agent, the two potential still, buyers walking in through this door uh, and around yeah, to the yeah, counter. There's a scene, there's a ghost scene there, there's a locked off shot there. Oh, ah, the creative juices are flowing. I'm getting real excited about this one. That was it, guys. What do you think? Yeah. 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 It's finally here. The show that you've been waiting for. The Vancouver Bee Movie Factory, where movie making dreams come true. Check your local listings for airtimes. It's shoot day! I'm very pleased to see that the gang's here early. Time to have some fun. The actors are warming up. <laughs> hey. And Lucinda is giving some last minute instructions before we start filming. We're trying to make them transparent, so you won't be doing this second shot that we do with this locked up shot. Okay. Scene one, take one, camera in. And yes, these uh, floors are original tapestry. So, cut. Scene three A, take one, camera A. Okay. Scene three A, take two, camera B. Action. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the mystery of the floating table. The good news is they're about two hours in and they've got two locked off scenes done. It's looking good. Hopefully there won't be anything that goes wrong. It probably will. Let's watch. Action. And yes, this is our beautiful confectionery store. Yeah, as you can see, well, if you're a nice, I hope that's not what you feel. Yes, there's all these there's more to see. Please come on. They're four hours in and there is a snag. Uh, some of the magic tricks we wanted to do are not working out too well. Uh, it's a tough one. Cindy's got to make a decision. Let's hope it's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, look, no drag. And then you can say, well, here's some popcorn. And if it moves, you can grab that. If it doesn't, she'll say, I want the chocolate. <laughs> and action! <laughs> They only have this one last shot to do. Three, two, one, go. Okay, we're six hours in and they're getting very close to being done. But they want to add another scene. Oh boy. Let's see what happens. Action. Okay, they worked really hard, the sun is gone, and they got everything done. All that's left for you to do is to watch our film! Woo! Yeah! It's finally here, the show that you've been waiting for. The Vancouver Bee Movie Factory, where movie making dreams come true. Check your local listings for airtimes. Thank you.
I really, really like that place, and it, it, it was so perfect for what we did. Yeah. What did you guys think? I thought it was awesome. Had so much fun, and it went really well on the day. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long shoot day, but you know what? At the end of the day, it was perfect. Well, it wasn't a terribly long shoot, but it was a very hot shoot. <laughs> no, it was long. Too. It's very hot. At <laughs> hot. Yeah. But you guys snuck in an extra a scene in there, which was great. Yeah, well, yeah actually, we did. We, we snuck got, in a really. Yeah, we did. We got all of our scripted scene? stuff done. Yes. We got our scripted stuff done within the six hours, which I was very happy with and very proud of. And then somebody decided to throw some extra scenes in. But I loved it, and it was great, and we had fun doing it. Well, the thing is, one thing I was very proud of, because Second Story Theater is known for being in an improv theater, mm. mainly. And we did this, you said scripted, but we didn't really have a script. No, we didn't. We, we did all the scenes and uh, improvised. Yeah. And Basically, so, it was an outline of yes. what we wanted to do, and then we just had, everything and, was improvised from there so on I was, in. I was thrilled about that, mm. because it's an improv theater, and we yeah. did every scene improv. It was just perfect. I, we I, went in with a plot summary, and, it, and we just let it roll. Yeah. I mean, there was not a single word that was really scripted. And it was our 200th location. That's right. Right? Yeah, wow. It's a uh, 200 yeah. meetup. Wow. And so, yeah, on that That's day. Awesome. So that was that was a big milestone. Yeah. So you guys ready to see this film? Absolutely. I'm done yep, to see really. That. I okay. want to see it. <laughs> All right. How's the control room? We ready in there? Control room's ready to go. <laughs> Excellent. Let's do this. Roll it. I'm Mr. Bingo. Hi, Mr. Silver. Hello, Mr. De Silva. Hi. I'm Mr. Lee. Hello, nice Mr. Lee. Lee. And we're here about the sale of the theatre. Are we in the right place? Yes, this is the theatre. Oh. Please, I must show you around. Okay. The detail is immense in this building. And as you can see behind you there is a hand painting drawing by William Shakespeare himself. 1752. By William Shakespeare. That's absolutely correct. And this stage here, William Shakespeare himself done numerous plays on this. And yes, this is our beautiful confectionery store here, as you can see. This is really nice. What's this made of? Oh, original onyx from Julius Caesar time. Hmm. Oh, and a popcorn maker. <laughs> yeah, now, now you just can't have a theatre without popcorn, can you? That's absolutely correct. And it does come with the theatre. And it was original from the Apollo 7 mission on the moon. Oh, but yes, it does come with the theatre. Uh, we like to just throw things in like this. But please, uh, please come along. We've got more to see on this day today. And yes, uh, also in this theatre, we've had like uh, our waltz dances and then um, B Belize dancers, yes. Belize dancers? What, what, what's Belize? Yeah, you know, the ones with the feathers and the dance. Oh, Belize dancers. <laughs> That's correct. Please, come along. And for up here, uh, these beautiful clowns from the English National Opera oh, in London. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. It's uh, it's absolutely impeccable stage. And the oh, can you feel that like feeling of tingling in your body? Yeah. You feel like uh, everything comes back to life. Well, matter of fact. We've done numerous shows here of magic, oh. with Shakespeare too at the same time. Now the the uh, I can feel the magic in the air. It's, it's it just brings back memories. It's <laughs> it's fantastic. 
And you, Mr. Lee? Yeah, it seems like everything comes back to life. Mm. Well, yes, well, this is the magical experience from this theatre. It's just, it's just got that magic. But please, there's more to see. These lovely chairs. Please watch your step. Uh, yes, there's been so much laughter here and happiness, as you can see. Popcorn on the floor, chewing gum stuck to the floor. It's got great character. And... Oh, now, now, now this is real velvet. It's not that cheap velour stuff, uh, is it? <laughs> Oh no, not at all. This is actually original velvet from Her Majesty's, the Queen's frock. Oh. And yes. the frame. Oh yes, and the frame is original mahogany mm -hmm. from the Titanic. Great. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you are actually impressed with all this here. It's very impressive. Please, come along. So, what do you think of our beautiful theatre? Hmm. We will definitely take it and keep it as it is. Yes, we're very interested in purchasing. Oh, well, that is absolutely fantastic. Now, would it be possible for you to contact my colleague in regard to this? Absolutely. Our lawyers will be in touch shortly to finalise the deal. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks for your time. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you very much. Okay. Please. Do we, get home? Do we have a home? What's happening? Home? Why, yes. We have this home now. It's ours forever. It's, it's, it's ours. We can have it. Yes! Yeah! All right! All right! Stay! We don't have to go. We don't have to haunt anyone. We don't have to haunt anyone. We don't have to haunt anyone. Awesome. Yeah. All you want. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> I wanted to get a sound Great effect job. similar to that, uh, that thing from the end of Flash Gordon for the question mark, but I couldn't find it, so the little spoon ding scene going on. <laughs> the music really wow. set the stage, though. It was like from beginning to end, the music was like another actor in that one. Mm. It, it, it uh, enhances the playfulness, I think, so yeah, uh, yeah I was quite proud of that. I love, the, I love the way the apparitions were like, you know, 50% opaque and, and they just came and went. Just, it was perfect. Well, doing the ghost effects, I mean, when we had originally talked about this, and we, you know, I mentioned, oh, let's do overlay. And I, was, I had the idea in my head, okay, you know, we mm. film it twice, locked off camera, all that thing, and then, of course, we did it. And then I get it home, and it's in the edit suite, and all of a sudden I realize, oh, my God, this is way more work than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> but it worked out pretty decent. Yeah, it looks moment. fantastic. And, uh, yeah, so the, uh, everything we recorded, I mean, we did a lot of shots there, a lot of locked off shots. And we had filmed... Um, well, the the sound of the the ghosts saying things, but mm. it's just when it came to editing it, it made more sense to not hear them talk too much, yeah. uh, just because we have obviously the other actors talking at the same time, so we yeah. didn't want to have this crazy overlap. Mm. But yeah, it uh, uh, some of those effects were very very involved. I, loved it. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it I'm quite proud of that. And time. it all flowed well together. It did. Yes. Uh, the, the director you did. Perfectly, you can made it all mesh and nice and. Oh, I'm just so so happy with that. That was awesome. It's good, eh? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and you the made magic. it look really good. And the magic. I'm so the magic. With yeah. That. Oh, you the, know, the we floating kept it simple. Table, we yeah. kept, we floated a table. We yep, some yeah. popcorn. You know, just simple stuff. Yeah, it looked really good. That. Yeah. And that theater. Well, we did show off that theater quite nicely. We did, and that yeah. was the whole point. You yeah. know, that theater is and no longer. And it is a sad situation that uh, by the time you guys see this at home, that theater will be no more. Yeah. It's done. Uh, they're closing their doors, and or they have closed their doors, and uh, and uh, 
moving on to better pastures. So uh, I'm I'm sad that to say that these guys are no longer there, but they helped us out immensely, and I thank them for letting us uh, be in episode number one with them, episode number two, and now episode number twelve. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very pleased with that. Thank you guys for doing what you did. That thank was a you. lot of work, and I want to uh, also thank Lillian. <laughs> and uh, thank you to all the Vancouver B Movie Factory members for coming out and making this happen. It, it's absolutely great. Everybody in the studio, too, all the people who uh, came out and did, did their work, I'm very pleased that they come out. And it uh, truly takes teamwork to make this dream work, and uh, I'm so pleased that you guys do that every time. Uh, and, hey, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> That just to start moving. Um, not gonna be yeah, we can still talk. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>